Do or die situation simply because of the route that I chose to take. Where I'm from, I basically made it from nowhere. Coming up off of the streets to be living in C21 is so rare. Make cop calls, they don't care. Eat dinner at tables with no chairs. Spruce and Lorraine when niggas are bang. Niggas to the game, it's no fair. Don't go there. Emotionally, it's really a roller coaster on the second and down. It's gonna be a new beginning. I feel like I should already be there. You do or die, gotta ride. Nothing but memories on my mind. For the pride. Growing up, I was so, so, so competitive. You know, I used to cry when I lost every game. I wasn't a sport, you know? I used to cry when I lost. And even if I would have a good game, people were like, don't cry, you play so well. I'm talking about even sixth, seventh grade, I'm crying. After I got past that stage to where like I can lose a game, like after the game was over, it, it didn't matter to me. I think that really helped me become a better player, you know, not saying that I don't care, because the whole time I'm on the court, I'm willing to die for the win. But soon as the last shot clock is over, it's over. So basically, you can only control what you can control. I only can come in and, and be a great person, be a great young man, and play hard basketball for whoever, whoever it is that I'm playing for. So that's all I can do day in and day out. And that's, that's definitely, definitely what I'm going through right now. Sometimes I don't understand, you know, why I'm not here or why I'm not there or what's going on. But what I can control is I can go to the gym every day, shoot my hundreds of jumpers. I can go and work on my handles. I can go work on my pass and I can go to the weight room. I can, I can control what I can control. You know, I can be, I can work on being a positive role model and being a positive person around the community for young kids and, and for kids my age and for adults. You know, that's what you can control. I've been traveling across the country, hitting up workouts. I've been coming out of each workout like I possibly got a new home. I worked out with the LA Defenders. I went to Portland. I worked out with Idaho Stampede. And then I hit Santa Cruz Warriors twice and with the Reno Bighorns twice. The Bakersfield Jam, we held a trial here in LA. And then they had a top 20 event at the Clippers facility. I feel like I, I definitely had a, a fair shot. I got to show, showcase myself to a number of teams. I've been going in and taking care of business. I liked every single team that I worked out for, I promise you. But the workout that I probably feel like I did the best at, Bakersfield Jam, you know, the second day in the top 20. You know, that uh, that day I came in, I just felt fresh. I had a lot, a lot of intensity, and I didn't, I didn't score it that much. I didn't make a lot of assists, but the other three point guards there, for sure they left and they weren't happy with the way that they played. It was hard for them to get the ball up the court. It was obvious that they were struggling to get the basketball up the court in eight seconds. That's what I pride myself on most is defense. The way I defended that day, you know, the way my feet were sliding, my hand was magnating to the balls and getting deflections and steals. I really liked the way that, that one went. I definitely took a lot of big strides over the past year and a year and a half growing up. But I'm, I'm nowhere near a finished product. I know that it's a lot more uh, that I need to work on and a lot, a lot more things on the court and off the court that I need to get better at. November 1st is a big day for me because that's the D-League draft day. When I chose to take this path, it was solely to get in the D-League. You must enter the NBA draft at least once to get a call up. I've been through draft process before, but I think this one's gonna be far more intense because it's a do or die situation. Not making it or not getting drafted will be detrimental to my career as far as I'm concerned. It's pretty intense, so hoping and praying for the best.